Welcome to Nobu 1669 YouTube channel. Today's topic is Palantir Technologies. The Palantir Technologies, or Palantir for short, has deployed its AI products on Azure's uh, Microsoft, uh, is to uh, deploy the products, AI products on Microsoft Azure for the US government agency. This will come in the form of SaaS uh, software as a service, and this should help them to increase their sales from the uh, public, public sector. In this video, I'll be presenting the top three topics from a machine learning model. I'll be sharing the technical analysis of Palantir using the simple moving average SMA, 50 days MA period. We'll also be looking at how Palantir average dimensional index ADX look like. Lastly, we'll be looking at how the relative strength index RSI stack up for Palantir. And then I'll be also sharing on how the MACD look like for Palantir. And we'll also be looking at the buying and selling strength for Palantir. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate your support to this channel. Do leave us a comment uh, in the section below, and we will welcome all comments uh, to make the channel uh, better. Thank you all for your support, and hope to hear from you. Please support my referral. You may sign up using the referral link on my website, uh, https www.filmboy.com. Okay, if you want to, to know more stocks and uh, crypto market uh, insights, here is my handle name in these two active online uh, stock broker that I write my articles, Tiger Brokers and Mumu. Thank you for your attention. Here are the US stock watch list for 9 August 2024. C3 AI or short form AI has a buy signal with support and resistance coming in at 23.90 and 24.99 respectively. Broadcom has a buy support a buy signal of support at 140.46 and resistance at 146.47. Valentia Technologies has a buy signal with support at 27.42 and resistance at 29.47. Now we will be sharing on the technical analysis using the simple moving average SMA 50 days period for Valentia. Valentia has is trading way above the 50 days period uh, currently, and with the AI demand growing and with the launch of the SaaS. Uh, service into offering of the AI products on the Microsoft Azure and then also the recession concern reduced uh, based on the last night rally. Uh, this should help Palantir to continue to grow their business on the private sector business and I'm sure I am actually expecting Palantir to be trading higher. Palantir buying strength is coming back with the forming of the MACD bullish crossover. There should be a potential buy signal, and then I'm expecting uh, Palantir to make another new high, especially with the news that they announced that they will be offering uh, software as a service says, on the Microsoft Azure for the my, uh, US government agencies. Now coming to technical analysis using the average directional index ADX. Palantir ADX is between 20 and 40, with the negative DI slightly higher than the positive DI, which indicate a bearish downside developing trend. But I'm actually expecting that to improve as Palantir continue to build on its uh, Q2 earnings strength to move the positive uh, DI higher. And with the so-called plan to launch their AI products on Microsoft Azure as a form of software as a service for the US government agency, I believe they should be able to grow the public sector side of the business yeah, and should be seeing a nice upside coming from Palantir. Moving to the technical analysis using the Relative Strength Index RSI. Palantir RSI is moving closer to the overbought region and with the growing AI demand and the focus now on the AI software companies, we should be seeing Palantir stand out for its AIP Pro platform and with the AI products now they are make, actually making it as an offering as a software as a service on the Microsoft Azure for the US government uh, agency. We should be seeing traders and investors coming back uh, to actually more uh, buying demand.
please like share and subscribe to this channel we appreciate your support to this channel do leave us a comment uh, in the section below and we will welcome all comments uh, to make the channel uh, better thank you all for your support and hope to hear from you Disclaimer, this video is only for technical education purpose. The result does not promote or recommend any investment or trading uh, action. Okay, please do your own uh, due diligence when you're doing the investment.